on south of the border to Bellingham, Washington to meet and ride with a couple fellow YouTubers. It's no secret that online video has taken over. Over the past couple of years, the amount of content creators on YouTube has increased dramatically. More and more people have figured out how to live the life of their dreams by documenting their hobbies and interests through video blogging. Seth and Brian are part of a small community of content creators that is leading the charge for the emerging mountain bike space on YouTube. I'm Seth, and I am the producer of Seth's Bike Hacks. I'm Brian Kennedy I'm from Vallejo, California, and I'm a YouTuber, full-time, making mountain bike videos. Seth and Brian travel the world with their mountain bikes, creating fun and often educational videos, all the while being their own boss. For many of us, it sounds like a pretty sweet deal. You can find anything from just straight up goofy stuff, educational content. I've done videos on tall bikes, which are bikes that are like double decker stacked. I bought a Walmart fat bike and took it in the ocean. That kind of stuff down to something as basic as how to bunny hop on a mountain bike. Seth's channel has blown up, while Brian's channel is quickly picking up steam. My channel is all about riding the best trails in the world. Just go out, try to document as many great trails as possible, and get people hyped up on traveling and getting outside and riding and making buds. Only a year and a couple months have I started my channel, and it's uh, pretty amazing how many people have found it and how many people love it. I first started posting videos, I didn't think anybody would watch them. It was more sort of just to try it. And what was really surprising is that people actually wanted to watch the videos for the sake of watching them. And then it eventually just, you know, grew out of control. Pretty much how it happened. Ah, uh, yes. The life of a YouTube celebrity. A life I am quite familiar with, as you can tell by my furnished home and helicopter. I wish. It's not something that's easy to believe, that you're making just YouTube videos on bike stuff, goofy stuff, and that it's, it might actually earn you a living. And what's worse is I had a web development company. I had my own company and I was doing well. I was a web developer before YouTube and uh, yeah, worked on websites. I worked on a cookware website, potsandpans.com. Shout out. <laughs> I had to actually throw that entire career away. Not throw it away, no, throw it away to do the channel. At a certain point, I started to pay less attention to my clients. I started to show less numbers and on the YouTube channel, I was showing greater and greater numbers and it started to wither away to the point where I pretty much made a conscious decision to just shut it down. I always wanted to build a business so I could go mountain bike more. And I always had that itch. And you know, making someone else rich, making someone else money is well and good for other people, but I just really wanted to kind of pursue a passion and find a passion. Swimming through these rocks. As you might imagine, it, it's pretty difficult to make the case to somebody that that's what you're gonna do. Like, okay, yeah, I spent, like six years building this web development company that's a complete success and then I'm going to I'm gonna start making YouTube videos riding my bike around. <laughs> of course everybody says, well what's your backup plan? Does anybody say that if you're like, okay, I just got a job as an accountant? Do they say, well what's your backup plan? And from my perspective, I was looking at all the numbers and it all made sense. But from their perspective it was like this is a pretty goofy thing to make a living at. What would you do if you had all the money in the world? I would go mountain bike all these great destinations. So I can do that as a business right now without having all the money in the world and squeak by just fine. It's just, I like this more. I mean, if I can, if I can do this every day, I'm just gonna be a much happier person. Good for you, Seth. Good for you. And good for you too, Brian. Who needs pots and pans anyways? It's the best decision I've ever made, hands down. The second I really threw away everything else and focused on it, it was just, you know, it's perfect. It just made total sense. I tell my story of just being a normal guy, quitting my job, like that whole connection and that story is very much what drives my channel and that I'm a total normal Joe and I don't go off jumps, I'm not that great of a writer. Like I'm getting better all the time but that connection is like real and that's what I feed on.
plan today was just to get out and ride, hook up with you guys, ride with Seth and ride with Christina over here. She's sketching us right now. Christina makes some rad mountain bike artwork. Go check it out on her Instagram. Don't think that what I'm doing is that new because if you look at bodybuilding, makeup, food, every other niche, fishing, there's probably four guys on YouTube making a full-time living on fishing. For some reason, mountain biking was very unplowed ground. So, why haven't more people started doing this yet? I mean, all you need is a bike and a GoPro gimbal, it seems. Am I right? There's always gonna be room for someone with a personality that has their own spin. There's a million people out there, at least, that would be fans of what we're all doing. And certain people speak to different people on their level, their gender, their age, their nationality. There's, if you can hold someone's attention, that's all that matters. Whether you have 300,000 subscribers or 5 million subscribers, you can do the same amount of work. So as your audience grows, your revenue grows, and you get to have the same fun and do what you love and actually build a career out of it. There's a ton of channels that have popped up since I started, for sure. And there's gonna be a ton more because it's an amazing thing if you can connect with people and actually make a difference in their lives. Don't underestimate how much work it is. Expect it to be as much work as, a nor as the job that you're giving up or the job that you would have gotten instead. Expect it to be more work because you're gonna be passionate about it and you're going to get obsessed. And there's some times where you actually, just like a normal job, you have to push through. You know, you don't wanna edit the rest of a video that you don't really like or you don't, or your, your channel's not doing really good that month, but you still have to post two videos a week. It's, it's just like a normal job in terms of how much work it is. Quit your job and grab a camera because your dream job awaits. At least I think that was the message. Eventually I found out that YouTube is a, uh, a cold, hard place to put yourself out there. But uh, say after a little while it starts to wear off and you don't care anymore. <laughs>